technology of our time. What do you say to that? Absolutely ridiculous. I don't paint. What do you say to your other nickname, the Merchant of Death? That's not bad. Um, not going into any real detail, but uh, just going to go over a whole bunch of movies that are in the movie theaters right now that I b either believe you guys should see or definitely stay away from. Let's start off with the big one, Iron Man. It came out May 2nd. I have to be honest, I wasn't really excited to see this movie. I wasn't like a lot of my friends were, oh my god, I can't wait to see Iron Man. I wasn't like that. I was just like, okay, it's going to be basically RoboCop meets The Rocketeer. And it actually wasn't. It was actually better than I thought it was going to be. So totally entertaining. Had about four cheesy gay parts uh, that I would have cut out. But other than that, really, it was, it was actually a very entertaining movie. I recommend it. It's actually the only movie at the movie theater right now that I would strongly recommend seeing. It's very good. All the visual effects, very good. Acting is, is well done. Robert Downey Jr., I love his humor. His humor is great in this movie. Um, it's a little over two hours, so definitely get ready to watch a little bit long of a movie, but it's good. It's worth it. If you're not into comic book super action heroes, um, there's a couple movies that are out. 88 Minutes was actually a pretty good drama with Al Pacino. Street Kings is still out there. Uh, that's a good one to see if you're not into super action hero comic book characters. All right, let's do the, the big rundown of all of these other movies that I really... I really can't recommend. Not that good. Uh, superhero movie? It was pretty gay. Wasn't really that funny. Two parts. Maybe two or three parts are funny. The rest, why bother? Smart People? Um, you know, it had uh, Ellen Page in it. She's a, an awesome actor. Um, but it just, it was a pretty bad movie. Smart People was really bad. Rogue. Rogue was the huge alligator movie. Uh, kind of like Lake Placid wasn't bad it was it's definitely a, it should have been a straight to a rental I can't even believe it's out on the out on the theaters it wasn't bad it was okay for you know a big alligator eating people deception um, love the actors Ewan McGregor uh, Hugh Jackman love those actors uh, deception wasn't that good it was a bit yawny it was a bit slow uh, Harold and Kumar escaped from Guantanamo Bay you know, I liked the first one. I thought the first one was kind of original, pretty, pretty funny, them going out to White Castle and whatever. Part two, it had some funny parts. It had a really awesome scene of uh, basically bottomless. It was a bottomless party instead of having a topless party. It was a bottomless party. That was awesome. After that, it, was, it, it went downhill just so quick. Uh, not very good. Baby Mama. This was even worse. Uh, had some funny parts. Not worth it. Forgetting Sarah Marshall, um, not good. So just a lot of blah movies. My wish for this summer, I wish that The Incredible Hulk is good, and I'm really looking forward to Indiana Jones Part 4. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube videos, and also check out my website, Bill's Thank you guys. Bye-bye.